Hi folks, and thanks for joining me back on the little night 98AE-184K from the uh, mid-30s or so. Appreciate everyone's uh, comments left behind for my question. Needing your help and guidance on the electrolytic capacitor, that is the uh, most negative lead of the electrolytic capacitor. Some folks couldn't see that in the camera view either. Again, it's a, a dual 8 microfarad capacitor, and the uh, most negative lead is uh, located here. And it routes down to uh, number 6 on the transformer, which again ties to the uh, center tap position. Now, some of the comments, too, I think I receive maybe the uh, center tap is tied to the uh, housing itself. Thus, when the uh, transformer is affixed to the uh, chassis, the center tap and the housing would share the same potential. If you look in the picture in picture, you'll see the DC resistance between uh, point number six on the transformer, the center tap, and the chassis itself serving as circuit ground. We're reading through the uh, resistor here. Called out as a 400 ohm, but you can see that it reads uh, north of uh, 400 ohms and will be replaced during the uh, restoration process. Getting back to why I inquired about the electrolytic capacitor negative lead and tie-in point to the center tap, you'll see uh, different designs out there. There's some uh, airline, Montgomery Ward airlines that I've restored in the past. And I pulled up some of those schematics and uh, just looked at it. So the uh, filter cap, I will call it the first cap, would typically attach to the uh, center tap. At times, the second cap would also, the negative, would attach to the uh, center tap location, while other times the um, second capacitor may tie directly to the uh, chassis itself. Now again, knowing this is an OEM part and just one lead, I think what I'm going to uh, do is uh, leave this connected on my replacement back to the center tap for both electrolytics. Let me go through some of the other uh, comments that were made. I think Dwayne brings up a great point. Just stick with the original schematic. Again, if the performance is subpar, I could always go in and uh, reverse engineer it. MJR 1999. Sorry, I made the schematic available there in the video description or a link. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. So um, I apologize if I didn't. But the uh, cathode is uh, just two chassis which is considered ground for this particular radio, based on the schematic that I'm referencing anyway. So the uh, bias is through that uh, center tap location. John, thanks for your comment. Chassis ground earth and circuit ground should always be separated. And uh, Arch Extra, thank you. You know, maybe it still is a, a factory wiring issue. You never know, maybe the documentation was right. Hey, Doug, thanks for your uh, feedback as well. You know, this just tie these things together one common point and uh, see how the radio performs. Mario, I think uh, Paul Carlson, Mr. Carlson's lab, may have mentioned this in a previous video. I'll have to uh, check on that. Wayne, some good advice there. Uh, he said they designed it that way for a reason to get the uh, circuit slightly above uh, chassis ground. I also made a, a good recommendation there for that one capacitor from center tap back to ground to use a safety cap. I appreciate that, Wayne. So, Andrew, your uh, comment, thank you. It's uh, spot on the uh, way you described it there, that first connection point going uh, capacitor and resistor and the one that's been tacked in to replace the OEM was just going straight to uh, chassis. Dean, as always, thanks for uh, reaching out. Sorry for the confusion I created. When I did the first video, I just referenced the first schematic that I found. 
doing some further research, I realized the tube complement in the radio that I actually had on hand didn't match the advertised uh, radio and schematic that I had been referencing. Sorry about that confusion. Uh, Jim, as always, appreciate you watching and uh, glad you found it uh, entertaining. You again, thank you for reaching out as well. You know, it's hard to say if I'm referencing the correct schematic or not. Again, I'm just using one that uh, mirrors the uh, tube lineup, and I think this radio was actually made uh, by Sentinel since um, Allied didn't actually make radios with the Knight brand. So I'm just going with what I have at this point in time, and thanks for the uh, additional information there as well on the tester. It's appreciated. Ken, thanks for the feedback. I mean, just stick with the schematic. That's what we should be doing. And if we find a mistake in the schematic, just uh, modify accordingly. Steve, as always, great information there that you're passing on, not just to me, but to others following the uh, thread. I appreciate that. I did notice the uh, gimmick capacitor there, which is important. Otherwise, the uh, receiver is not going to perform. And of course, we've got that uh, weird bias cell too, which I'll probably end up just bypassing and uh, change the uh, bias, uh, modify the circuit accordingly for that. Radio Gag, great feedback there. The uh, circuit that I'm using or the schematic does differ from the uh, first schematic that I uh, laid my eyes on. Again, the uh, radio is seven tubes, not six. So um, anyway, I actually confused myself a bit. But uh, I think I'll stick with a similar schematic, and I'm going to make the modification and go back to the uh, center tap, as uh, you noted as well. Dean, great uh, information here you're passing along not only to me, but to uh, others in the hobby. Again, referencing uh, chassis ground, earth ground, center tap is a ground. Uh, which one's a ground? Again, there's uh, lots of uh, discussion around that, B minus. Um, you know, just references back to the old battery days, etc. Anyway, I did do that test, though, making sure the housing itself of the uh, transformer did not tie back to center tap and it is isolated. Uh, the notable difference there was just the uh, 400 ohm resistor which is uh, reading high that will need to be replaced. But uh, great feedback and uh, thanks again Dean. Dean, more great dialogue there about the uh, circuit diagram, the layout, and maybe confusion about ground versus center tap, etc. So uh, thanks for uh, providing that, not just for myself, but for others following along my messy lab. Since the uh, center tap is elevated from the chassis, most likely for negative bias, I think it's more like the factory did it. So uh, that is correct. That appears to be the uh, bias location. I think that's the biggest clue. If you guys haven't checked out Greg's Vintage Workshop, please do so. Greg's got some great projects that uh, he's currently working on, as well as some uh, cool stuff he's done in the past as well. More feedback from Greg here on the uh, tube socket adapter kits. A uh, neat way to uh, build some. You know, hold on to those discarded uh, vacuum tubes that are bad. You can build you some uh, tube socket adapters. Again, the one that I used was the Elmax 1258 U uh, Vector Electronics Company. I bought those uh, many years ago. I think they're a little bit more scarce now than they used to be. I haven't searched in some time. More great feedback from Steve. You know, you never know what you're going to find when you get into one of these old radios. Uh, the repairs that have been made in the past, sometimes you find things done correctly. Many times you find things that have been uh, modified and changed. So, uh, great point, Steve. You can see the next comment there. The uh, center tap being true, unimpeded. The zero volt source, for those that are new in the hobby, again, the center tap is the most negative point in the circuit. So attaching the electrolytic negative side back to the center point seems to be the way to go to reduce uh, noise and hum in the receiver. And you'll see the next comment there from Adam's Antique Radios. I'm assuming that's actually Adam. 
If it's not, please chime in and let me know. If you guys haven't checked out Adam's channel, I recently uh, subscribed to the channel and uh, it's got some great uh, video content and uh, very informative, educational, and entertaining. So you guys check it out. But uh, Adam, you may be correct. Maybe just uh, an undocumented change. Or who knows, maybe uh, the repairman there back in Montana actually made the uh, circuit revision at some point in time. There were many uh, undocumented changes to the radios back from the 30s. Again, since we don't have an actual published schematic for this uh, receiver. And I appreciate the feedback there from Old Radio TV SC. I think that's what I want to do, and I think you're spot on. Again, just looking at some of the other schematics for the Montgomery Ward, the airline models, you saw many designs that somewhat mirror this particular uh, receiver. And uh, that first uh, capacitor went back to the uh, center tap, with the second going to um, chassis ground. So again, when I uh, get to that point, I think I'll try both methods. I think I'll go center tap, and then I'll move the second capacitor back over to chassis ground to see if there's any notable difference to the ear. You guys can see I got the power transformer removed, just four fasteners. We'll get all the uh, solder two locations there on the tie end points uh, cleaned up and do some additional testing here on the uh, power transformer and of course do some de-rusting as well let me wipe this area down right here maybe a model number on there it appears to be a number there etched in i can see uh, maybe a 121 dash something We'll look at that closer after uh, doing some de-rusting. See if we can still make out that uh, particular number. I'm going to pop this thing apart as well. And uh, get these old fasteners out. Put some new ones in. Make sure not to uh, mess with the uh, laminations here. But also just a light scrub there to see if we can get some of the uh, surface rust off. Taking a minute to spot treat an area. A little de-rusting here, you can see. Using the bar keeper's friend, followed by just a little mother's mag and aluminum polish. Using a uh, wet sponge first with a little bit of the uh, bar keeper's friend. Loosen up the grime and then just light to medium pressure there with the uh, scotch Bright pad. There's going to be some pitting in certain areas on this chassis, I can tell, around the uh, tube sockets you can see in this area. But uh, I think it's going to clean up pretty well. I tell you what, the old uh, rusty, dirty chassis is starting to clean up pretty well here on the Night 98. AE-184K. You can see I made up a, a little bit of uh, paste with the uh, barkeeper's friend. It's starting to dry out a little bit now with some water using my scotch Bright pad. Went over the area numerous times, wiped it down with water. And I probably got a few more applications to go. I've got some pitting in these areas I talked about earlier where probably some mice have been up there at some point in time. Anyway, I'll see if I can do anything else with those areas, or it may be, you know, what it is. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and thanks again for all the feedback that you guys shared with me regarding the electrolytic uh, capacitor in this radio and the tie point back to uh, center tap from the transformer or chassis. You guys uh, take care, and more to come soon. Thanks again for watching.